Hello comic book fans, here's Earl Grey and this is my German uh, trade edition of Black Hole, long time out of print, very beautiful. I've shown you it before and today it's just sort of an introduction and serves um, for size comparison purposes because down there that's the real deal. Black Hole, the studio edition of Fantagraphics. It comes in this uh, huge white cardboard box. To frame it, Let's see here. So let's put it out of that one here. It's a very bold decision, I guess, uh, to leave out all the text on the cover. Just one cover illustration on the front and one back cover illustration and this huge oversized poster-like size. And this stick, so to speak, continues on the inside where we don't get um, no information, no forward, no backward from um, intelligent people. Just the usual blurb here, but that's uh, yeah, the fine print, even though it's not so fine here because it's all huge. And right off the bat, we see these giant very disturbing and uh, yet decorative images, this world of um, Charles Burns, where the horror and the yucky stuff and the sexuality comes together in one weird vision. I've spoken already in um, my video about Black Hole, about the story, so I just want to show you more or less quick uh, what this book, this edition here, is all about. And um, it's not the whole black uh, whole story, not complete. Um, some issues were left out, even though you can read the story um, as far as it is reprinted here. It will make sense, sort of, even though I don't think that you will buy this book when you haven't read the other, uh, the, the original graphic novel before. But anyhow, so for whatever reason they want, didn't want to make this book maybe too thick, too expensive, even though it's of course pretty expensive in this uh, fashion already. Um, I don't know why they did it this way. Uh, Maybe there's a um, uh, Black Hole edition, uh, uh, studio edition, volume two in the future, but I don't uh, believe that because uh, they have a lot of stuff in the front and in the back of the story. So, yeah, I guess that's the definitive edition of Black Hole. Um, and I'm very fine with it. I, I don't need every issue in this format uh, because this is enough already for me to make me happy. Um, what we get here, um, as I flip through these pages here, is the, um, are the inked pages. Um, the reproductions of the inked pages in their original size, you know the stick with these artist, edi artist editions. And if you look real close, you see some uh, fingerprints of the artist and some white out over here, but it's very rare and very um, uh, yeah, seldom that you get a glimpse of the, the creation process in this book and no pencils anywhere. Um, that's a bit unfortunate. I'm very um, certain that he had there was a long way uh, of remaking uh, every page and refining everything and removing the unnecessary stuff 
because Charles Burns doesn't strike me as an artist who goes with the first try, so to speak. Yeah? Um, and to prove that, I have here this comic sketchbooks edition. Uh, I've shown you that already in another video. Oh, where is Charles Burns here? So here we have him. To be honest, I hope to get a bit of something like that in the studio edition. More the creative process, um, the pencil drawings before these beautiful inks, or uh, the blue lines here. But um, I think, yeah, there must has, uh, there was a version in this fashion before, where uh, which was canned and. Charles Burns uh, worked over that um, until he was satisfied. So we don't get no blue lines and uh, no pre-drawing in this fashion here. Um, yeah, a bit unfortunate, but what can, can we do? And I really dig the artist editions the most, where this pencil edition, uh, pencil layout stuff is more visible. On the other hand, we have this, yeah, these perfect uh, art pages with no superfluous um, uh, stuff of any kind, no page numbering, um, yeah, no explanation, just the real deal. And yeah, that's that's something that I really like. Uh, maybe that's not everyone's cup of uh, tea, and, and he or she wants a bit of bonus material, extra stuff, uh, drawings. Ah, here we have the title pages. Um, the binding, um, by the way, is. Very good. I can't show, show you this, but it's uh, of course soon binding um, and it lays absolutely flat here and it doesn't make the impression that it will break uh, that soon, <laughs> I hope. Um, now question that it's worth uh, the money for me and uh, every Charles Burns fan. I guess you don't have to be real hardcore Charles Burns fan, just if you like this kind of art. And some of the inks show the uh, process, how he inked it, because it's not everything in the same um, black tone. And you get a bit the impression of the, uh, the hand of the artist, so to speak. So. That's really neat. Ah, here's a bit of um, cutting out one part and adding it on this page going on. Yeah, there are some places here and there that you can't get anywhere else and are really interesting for those of us who go into the Charles Burns Church. Nice, nice, beautiful. So, yeah, Charles Burns, the studio edition of Black Hole from Fantagraphics. Thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.